talk about the best gaming keyboard on the market so far. It is the Wooting 60HE. This keyboard is phenomenal. It quite literally gives you a competitive edge in tactical FPS shooters. Before we dive into the video, if you could subscribe to the channel, like the video, share with all your gaming homies who need an upgrade because trust me, this is so worth the money. I do wanna mention two things. Firstly, Wooting did send this out for review, but keep in mind, it's not gonna affect my review in any shape, way, or form. And the second thing I wanna mention is that if this is your second or third video on the Wooting that you're watching, just stop right here, go add it to your cart. I'm not affiliated to them, but it's so good that just put it there and come back to this video. This video is gonna have a lot of information, so I'm gonna have timestamps down below for your convenience. Let's dive into the unboxing experience for the Wooting 60HE. The unboxing experience is full of a bunch of different Easter eggs, both on the outside cardboard of the box and the inside and I'm not gonna cover all of them so that you can enjoy it yourself. When you open up the box, you're gonna find a dust cover on top of the keyboard itself, and underneath the keyboard is a bunch of little goodies, including a paracorded black and yellow USB-A to USB-C cable. You have a keycap puller. There's also two extra switches, and we're gonna dive into those switches very soon, and also some screws for your convenience. There's also the nylon strap that you can add to the left of your keyboard, which I think is a very nice touch by them. And now a quick sound test. Let's talk about what makes this so special, and that is the Gateron X Lecker switches. These Lecker switches are different from ordinary switches, and let me share why. Ordinary mechanical switches use a plastic stem that you press down on. When you press down on that, you then have contact with a metal leaf within the switch housing. That then sends an electrical signal to the pins on the bottom of the switch that is then sent to the PCB itself. Now, the Lecker switches are very different they not only reduce the amount of components within the switch, they give it a level of precision that is unrivaled in the keyboard market. They use a stem with which there is a magnet on the bottom of that stem. The way the magnetic switch works is through a Hall effect sensor. And what that means is the tiny little magnet on the bottom of the stem of the Gateron Lecker switch comes into contact with the PCB. And the PCB is able to detect the amount of distance that is traveled by the magnet and that allows you to have modularity with regards to how much distance is required for the switch to actuate. You can go from four millimeters all the way down to 0.1 millimeters. That's so small. It's very sensitive and it's very critical to giving you a competitive edge in both Valorant and CSGO tactical games that required that level of precision in your movement. And I'm gonna talk about that in more depth later on in the video. Okay, now that you know how these Lecker switches work, you're probably asking yourself, well, how do you get that competitive edge? Is it baked into the keyboard? Do you need software? Do you need to download something? Great question. You can use Wooting's online software in order to customize everything about the keyboard. And so let's dive into that. Let's talk about Wooting's Wootility. This is their software that you can access via a Chrome-based browser or through their app. On the Wootility, you will see a lot of different things you can do. Bottom left corner, settings and find device. The settings tab allows you to update the firmware of the Wooting and they update it frequently. And when you get out of that settings tab, you will also see on the left hand side, all the profiles that you can have for your keyboard. So there are four profiles that you can save onto the keyboard and underneath it, you can create infinite amount of profiles to your liking. And in these profiles, you can adjust a ton of things. So let's talk about what you can adjust. On the first page in the bottom left, you'll see color. The left little column allows you to customize each switch independently with whatever RGB color you would like via hex codes. The second section is where you can select all the different RGB effects. You have no effect, the wave effect, scan effect, breathing, cycle, ripple, trail, touch, jelly, AOE, mixing, which I still don't fully get, and the RT display, which is rapid trigger display, and we're gonna to touch on that pretty soon. And on the rightmost side is where you can adjust your brightness, speeds of the animations, and all that fun stuff. The next tab is the really important one. This is where performance lies, and performance is what allows this keyboard, the Wooting 60HE, to have a competitive edge in all FPS games. On the leftmost section, you will see that there is a tiny switch, and this switch is where you can customize the actuations for all of the switches. You can go as hard as you want with four millimeters in order to actuate the switch or as light as 0.1 millimeters as mentioned before. This is so sensitive. So with that, it allows you to do per key customization. So not all of them need to be that sensitive. For example, in my case, I have selected spacebar 
and the Windows key bottom left in order to be a higher actuation point of three millimeters so that I don't fat finger them. It's very customizable. And the fact that you can do it per key is amazing. If you're someone who plays CS or Val, you can change your binds for things like your grenades or your abilities to be a little harder to press so that you're not fat fingering them. Now, this middle section is super important. This is rapid trigger. Rapid trigger means that the key does not need to fully actuate in order for it to reset. Once you hit a actuation point, let's say you're playing with 0.1 millimeters, if you press down 0.1 millimeters, you do not need to fully press up in order to reset the activation. As long as you go a little bit above the actual switch activation height that you have selected, it will allow you to re-click as much as you want. This allows you to be even more granular with the way you press your keys and how much you move, and that's really critical for tack games. The tachyon mode on the bottom right allows you to reduce the input lag from 2 milliseconds which is stock down to one millisecond the trade-off is you will not be able to use the fun rgb effect but honestly the trade-off means you get one millisecond input lags which is 50 percent less than without it so pretty cool stuff if i do say so myself the remapping section is really fun on the left hand side you can actually go ahead and switch the keyboard layout from qwerty to dvorak or any other ones if that's something you're into. And on the right hand side, you can just go ahead and customize the different layers with the different inputs you want. You can have four functional layers. The next section is advanced keys. This allows you to customize each switch to have different features. So there are three different advanced key options. First is dynamic keystroke. In dynamic keystroke, you can change each level of pressure when you activate the switch to have a different keystroke, which is really cool if you need that kind of functionality. So if you wanted to bind four different nades, you could have them set at different pressure levels and it will bind to those. Now mod tap is the next thing you can do and this allows you to switch what happens when you tap a key instead of hold it. So for example, in the bottom right corner, I have my switches act as arrow keys when I tap instead of do their actual normal function when I hold. And then the last thing you can do is toggle key. So if a game doesn't have a toggle bind that is of your convenience, you can go ahead and just set it in this software for the keyboard and it will do it for you. It's super convenient. Now there's one more thing outside of this software that I do want to touch on and that's Wudabase. Wudabase is where people can go ahead and upload their own profiles for whatever games they want and they can go in there and pick whichever ones they want to try out, put that in their profiles in the Wutility and test it out. Now that you understand the software that powers the Wu-Tang 60 HE, let's talk about the gaming experience. That's why y'all are here. We're gonna start off with the tracking oriented FPS shooters as I feel it's a little easier to converse about those. And then I'm gonna talk about the TAC FPS shooters because those are way more nuanced. So the tracking games I play include Halo, Overwatch, Fortnite, No Build, and also Apex Legends. Now, all of these games require you to be able to move, strafe, dodge bullets, get out of the way of fire, and prevent people from tracking you. And this keyboard allows you to get those movements in faster than basically 99% of the population. When you use a normal mechanical keyboard that's using Cherry MX switches, you're going to realize that there is that four millimeter actuation. Sure, you can use speed silver switches and it reduces that distance required to click the switch. However, nevertheless, that is far more input than the 0.1 millimeters from the Wu-Tang 60HE. And when you switch over to the Wu-Tang 60HE, you're gonna feel way more responsive in games. It's insane. You really have to feel it for yourself. When you go back to a normal mechanical keyboard, you're gonna feel like the games all play like jelly. You're gonna feel like your movements are slightly delayed and it's bizarre. Sure, you do adapt to it pretty quickly, but you can really tell that noticeable difference when using that 0.1 millimeters combined with the rapid trigger feature in the Wu-Tang 60HE. Now, as far as Halo goes, Dude, I'm able to pop off and swat all the time thanks to the movement I'm able to do with the Wu-Tang 60HE. As far as Apex Legends go, I by no means am a pro in that game, but I can definitely feel myself being able to dodge, swerve, all that jazz with the Wu-Tang 60HE far more easily than with an ordinary mechanical keyboard. Now, Overwatch is a very complex game, especially with all the different champions, and the movement definitely varies between characters. But what I can tell you from my experience playing with the Wu-Tang 60HE is all of those champions feel far more easier to maneuver with, and it's just fantastic. It feels so much more responsive than an ordinary keyboard. I can't stress that enough. Now, lastly, I've left Fortnite. I specifically play Fortnite no build as I don't really have the time to master the building mechanics. Those are insane. When it comes to the no building experience, being able to switch with all the different weapons in game is so much easier with this keyboard. It feels instantaneous. Now, when it comes to the building Fortnite experience, dude, this is a serious competitive edge. Being able to switch between all the different building materials, the building 
shapes and sizes, being able to do all those different techs in the building experience. It is a legitimate competitive advantage that will allow anyone in the Fortnite pro scene to completely destroy their opponents. Let's now talk about the TAC FPS shooter experience because that's where this keyboard in my experience has a huge competitive advantage irrespective of what your skill level is. If you're a casual player, if you are a semi-pro, pro, a pugster, dude, this keyboard is what you need. It's not even a want. It legitimately gives you a competitive advantage. So let's dive right into it. I'm starting off with Valorant purely because the mechanics and the movements within this game have been diluted a little bit in comparison to CSGO. Now let's start off with a little bit of movement in Ascent using a mass drop alt high profile keyboard with some novel key cream switches. Observe the movement and the distance traveled with this keyboard. It looks pretty good, right? Let's switch over to the Wooting 60HE. This has rapid trigger on and also 0.1 millimeter distance of actuation. Look how much more minute you can get and more detailed you can get with the distance you are traveling. It makes a huge difference, especially when you're peaking angles. It also has a significant difference in the way you do your counter strafes and stop your player before you shoot in game. Now, I ran a little experiment in Balrog death matches. I totally understand that this is not at all one-to-one -one replicable to competitive games, but it gives you a sense of idea with regards to performance. I found on average, I was hitting at least nine to 10% higher deathmatch scores with the Wu-Tang 60HE over the Mass Drop Alt High Profile with the Novel Key Cream switches. It is phenomenal just how much better you are able to move in Valorant with swapping your keyboard. I am thoroughly impressed. I do feel like irrespective of what ELO you're in, you're going to feel a difference in your performance. You're gonna be fragging out of your mind in a way that you didn't even realize you could. The ability to move such a little amount in order to actuate the switches just opens up a whole new realm of possibilities when it comes to your ability to frag. To just give you some social proof that this keyboard is working for the best of the best in the game, some tier one players that are actually using Wooting 60 HE right now in Valorant for the VCT include NRG's Crashies, Victor, Artis, FNS, Sentinel players like Marv, Tens, and Zekin. Ye has been using it since last year. You will see improvement that you didn't even realize there was potential to grow in. Let's now talk about CSGO. I have under 400 hours in CSGO. And if you're a veteran in the CS space, you're gonna obviously be able to tell that that is not enough hours to master the movement in the game. And I completely agree with that. But let me just share you anecdotally what I've seen from my experiences so far. Firstly, let's talk about strafe mechanics. Strafing in CSGO is way more critical than it is in Valorant. In Valorant, you click the key, then stop, and it resets your aim. In CS, you have to counter strafe in order to fully stop the movement and shoot accurately. Here's how the Wooten keyboard comes into play. Again, you're able to strafe far easier, allowing you to reset your crosshair faster and basically giving you aimbot. And again, I ran that same experiment in deathmatch, comparing both my performance with a standard mechanical keyboard with the novel key cream switches and compared that to the Wooting 60HE's performance. And again, I found on average, I was performing seven to 8% better with the Wooting 60HE. And I'm not even a seasoned veteran or have enough hours in the game to really say I have mastered anything in the game. It is, dude, that game is so complex. It's awesome. Now, look, this is where it fundamentally helps anyone, irrespective of if you're silver, gold, or even higher, whether you're playing face it or even normal matchmaking, dude, it allows you to counter strafe and strafe far better. Again, the micro movements, the micro adjustments, you're able to do those at a far granular level than you can do with an ordinary keyboard. Rapid trigger plus 0.1 millimeter movement is a game changer and it's literally, again, a competitive edge in comparison to anyone else using a standard mechanical keyboard, straight up. How else is it helpful? Well, the more complex movements. And look, I can talk about this at a surface level. I'm not gonna at all talk as if I understand the movement in CS, because I don't. The way you B hop, the way you're able to long jump, these are all techniques that I am aware of. I try to work on it, but dude, I do not have the hours in the game to really speak in that regard. But what I can tell you is even though I am a noob, I was finding that I was hitting those long jumps far more consistently, those B hops far more consistently with a space bar over using a scroll wheel, because I'm not a scroll wheel jumper. Who in the tier one scene is currently using the Wooting 60HE? Well, it includes Zaiwu, who was the MVP and the winner of IEM Rio 2023. He uses the Wooting 60HE and dude, he is insane, both as an opper and as a rifler. 
Dude's mechanics combined with this keyboard make him literally unstoppable. Great mental timer for the game on when he could be there. Turns his attention back around to Long and now puts another oh. in the casket. Zai Wu. Out okay. he goes. It's Zai Wu to convert the remaining two. And I mean, Dexter's gonna have a look at this. He's already taken down Sphinx. One more and it's in. Also, Team Liquid's OC, Nitro, and Elise are currently using the Wu-Tang 68G. If you're using this keyboard, you without a doubt will have a competitive advantage in CSGO, especially if you're playing Pugs. If you're playing Face It, dude, if your mechanics are already perfect, like really good, and your strafing mechanics are relatively solid, this is just gonna make it easier. It makes your life easier and it makes the games way more enjoyable because you feel like your inputs are really getting registered in a fraction of the time that you're used to. It is such a luxury. With all of that said, is there anything bad about the Wu-Tang 60HE? <laughs> Honestly, not really. They have this priced at $175 with free shipping to the US. And frankly speaking, if you look at the competition and their pricing, dude, this is a steal of a deal. And it is literally a competitive edge in TAC FPS games that you're not gonna find anywhere else. You wanna have better strafing mechanics in both Valorant and CS? Dude, just get this keyboard. Why work on it as much? Obviously you still will, but dude, this keyboard is insane. The tech is so cool. I just can't stop geeking out about it. The whole reason I reached out to Wu-Tang for a review unit was because I was blown away at the tech and the price that they are selling this at. It is so powerful. You are not gonna find another 60% keyboard that's doing what Wu-Tang is doing and at the level of refinement that Wu-Tang is doing this at, at all. It's freaking cool. I do wanna mention a few things that they could improve upon for the future revisions. Firstly, the stems, they are turquoise colored and it would be nice to see them in a transparent color that would allow for the RGB to pop even more. The next thing that I would like to see would be more RGB effects like on the ducky keyboards or the mass drop alt keyboards. I personally love the radial RGB effect of mass drop alt. Wooting unfortunately does not have that RGB design and honestly with their software, I'm pretty confident that either someone has made it and I haven't found it already or it would be so cool to see it implemented. I would love it. The next little nitpick would be feet for the keyboard. It would be nice to be able to adjust the incline on the keyboard itself. And the last thing would be some more nylons drop customizations. I like the yellow and black design, but hey, let me customize one. Let's have some cool designs. I'm thinking of making my own custom ones. So if you'd be interested in those, let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. Let's talk about maintenance and modding the keyboard because they have made this on a platform that is very modular and I love it. The stock case is so nice. I actually revert it back and I'm far more happier with this config. It is so good ergonomically speaking. I have sensitive wrists that are prone to carpal tunneling and just get wonky. And I have found that the way they've designed the angle on the Wu-Tang 60HE allows me to rest my palm on the table while inclining it onto the keyboard in a way that doesn't cause strain over long gaming periods. Especially if you're playing TAC FPSs like Valorant or CS, you know how long those games get. The maintenance experience is super easy. Firstly, take off all the keycaps, then go ahead and put all those keycaps into a bucket with some dish soap. Let that soak in there. You can, like I did in this time of cleaning my keycaps, use a sponge, the soft side, not the scratchy side, and clean off all the residual dirt from the keycaps. Really important you do this every couple of months as they will get a lot of gunk on them over time. When you have the keycaps off of it, go ahead and use a Q-tip and clean up all the different rows of keys and also get an air duster and remove all the other schmutz on your keyboard. Now, if you wanna go the step further and modify the keyboard, here's what you can do. You can literally unscrew the keyboard from the base itself. And since this was designed with a universal 60% mount in mind, you can go ahead and plop it into any other universal 60% keyboard case. I chose a acrylic clear one from KBD fans, and it was a really cool experience. As you can see the lighting throughout this board. And also I added clear keycaps to the top of the keyboard so that you could see the actuations and all the lighting effects on the top of the keyboard. It was really cool, but at the end of the day, like I mentioned before, the original design is so nice that I just reverted back to it. The one thing I did add to the original design was I did add a sorbothane pad to the bottom of the keyboard so that I had more vibrations be insulated. So overall, my modding experience with the keyboard has been fantastic. Honestly, you really don't even need to modify this keyboard much. The stabilizers have been lubed up very well. You could switch them to Durox or whatever stabilizer of choice, but it's overkill. You don't need to. You literally don't even need to lube the switches 
And the case that it comes in is very comfortable as is. Do I recommend it? Apps are freaking loot loot. If you're in the market already to find a keyboard for a sub $200 and you're not really interested in any modding, or hell, wanna take a stab at the modding world too, this keyboard has it all. Like I mentioned before, it has a competitive edge irrespective of you playing tracking games or attack FPS games. This keyboard is insane value for money and it literally gives you a competitive edge like no other.